in all I do I honor you in Jesus to 
we sing holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. I want to sing. We sing Thank you.
For the sake of freedom, you set me free.
Philippians chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. <clears throat> Pray for the church in this city, in this region, for a historic breakthrough of the Holy Spirit and power, revelation of His heart. Paul prayed for the Philippian church. He said that your love may abound still more and more in the release of the knowledge of God with all spiritual discernment that you would approve the things that God calls excellent, the things that move his heart, that you would walk in sincerity with no compromise, without any offense, being filled with the fruits of righteousness even until the coming of the Lord. Father, we come to you. We take our stand before your glorious presence. Even in the presence of your holy angels, we stand before your throne. We do not speak into the air, but we speak into your heart, Abba. We thank you for the rainbow of mercy thank you for the presence of your spirit and the witness of the angels and the elders as to your worthiness to your splendor and your glory and we join their testimony even now from the earth as we're seated before you in heavenly places father we ask you concerning the prayer that burned in your heart the very prayer that you gave your servant paul days of old that the love of your people would abound still more and more father I ask you for tens of thousands of believers in this region that our love would abound still more and more father I ask you for a breakthrough of the Holy Spirit at a measure we've never seen before I ask you, God, for something exceedingly above and beyond. Father, we come, we dare to believe you for a breakthrough of your spirit that tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands, that you would bring into your kingdom, that they would be anointed to stand before you in love. Oh, that love would abound. Father, I ask you that the first commandment would be established in first place in the church in this region. I ask you, God, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit to love you. The anointing of the Spirit to see the way you love us. I ask for love that overflows to one another and to the lost. So, Lord, we come and we stand before you. It's the very fountain of love itself. Oh, living flame of love Holy Spirit Father the very fountain of love we ask you that our love would abound we come in our weakness we come in confidence before you we believe the prayer that burned in your heart that you gave your servant Paul we believe that this prayer is one that you want to answer and so we come with courage we come with confidence I ask you for a thousand congregations, every denomination. I ask you for every campus, high school, junior high, college, every marketplace ministry that loves you, that love would abound, that love would flow like a river, that the anointing of the Holy Spirit to receive your love and to return it back to you, the anointing to love one another and the lost, I ask you for the first commandment to be established in first place, that the second commandment would flow out of it in power. Father, this is why we come to you right now. We ask that love would abound still more and more. We thank you for the work you've done in this city through the generations. The work you did even a hundred years ago, we thank you for it, that we're building on the shoulders of those that have gone before us. But we want more. We come for more. We thank you for what is. We thank you for yesterday, Father. But we want more, still more and more. We want the fullness of 
what is in your heart for this church in this region in this hour of history Lord we ask you for the fullness that you would release it by unfailing the knowledge of God that a spirit of revelation would be released in power that we would see what you see and feel what you feel oh that we would understand your heart Father, we ask that love would abound in knowledge with all discernment. I ask you for tens of thousands of believers to be fully renewed in the Holy Spirit, fully awakened by your power with all discernment that we could rejoice in what you rejoice in. We could agree with what you call excellent, the things that move your heart. Father, we want to be moved by what moves your heart. We want to feel the power of what you call excellence. So we ask you, in the name of Jesus, let love abound still more and more. Kansas City. We ask for the 500 mile radius around this city. And Abba, we ask that you would begin to have your way, that you would send Holy Spirit, as you begin to set the church aflame. Abba, I ask that Sunday morning services as, as pastors preach, Abba, that there would be a move of the Holy Spirit through a thousand congregations in this region. Abba, that you begin to grip believers in the pews, Abba, as, as preachers preach from the pulpit, that there be suddenlies of God that are released upon them. That in a moment, that you would suddenly rest upon them and there be an increase of the measure of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you would have your way in this region. We ask that you release a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. That individuals would enter into the fullness of eternal life through the knowledge of God. Abba, they would embrace the fullness of what you have to offer, that you would take them deep into the place of encounter. 
Lord, we ask that you would end human trafficking in this region through revival. That you would pour out your spirit upon Kansas City. That revival would, would be released. And that justice would go forth within the industry of human trafficking. That you would shut it down. That you would end it. That you would take out all the props. That you would glorify Jesus in this city. So Lord, we ask that you would send forth the spirit of wisdom. I pray that you would send forth the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of you to believers and unbelievers alike in Kansas City in Jesus' name. that you would do what you did in Acts chapter 4, that you would 
bring a holy fear to this city towards the church. That your hand would be upon the church and the individuals would tremble. And they would shake at the presence of God recognizing your hand upon believers. Recognizing your hand upon the saints in this city. So Lord, I ask, send the Holy Spirit. Father, send your Holy Spirit to Kansas City. We ask that you'd set the captives free in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, would you come and bring the fear of the Lord to the church in Kansas City. Let them love righteousness and hate wickedness in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that you would bring the church in this city to full maturity. Lord, today we ask that you would awaken uh, the hearts of your bride in this city, Lord, pastors and leaders in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that you would end human trafficking in Kansas City, God. Hear the cries of the oppressed in Jesus' name. God, I'm asking that you would receive the reward of your suffering in young adults and churches in Kansas City in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask for mercy, God, on the church in Kansas City, Lord, that we would seek your face and cry out for an ending of human trafficking for revival in Jesus' name. Father, we ask you that love for the Son of Man would abound in Kansas City, that the bride would begin to approve what is excellent. Lord Jesus, on your behalf, we remit the sins of Kansas City. Lord, whoever sins we remit shall be remitted, Lord. We prepare the way, Lord, giving the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins because of the tender mercies of our God from which the sunrise from on high shall visit us. We loose the sins, Lord God of Kansas City, God. Prepare the way, bring revival. Let this good news trumpet forth, Lord, that you are in Christ, reconciling the world to yourself and committed to us the ministry of reconciliation through Jesus. Break down every stronghold of the mind, God. Lord, I pray, God, for schools and college campuses, God, and even daycares. God, may revival start and glorify your name. Father, I ask that you would break in with power in Kansas City on the transgenders and the prostituted women in the, in the streets of Kansas City. God, I ask that you would break out with revival and that you would save their souls in Jesus' name. your heart that we would love righteousness that we would hate wickedness god would you give us the spirit of prayer all across this city for the oppressed that you would hear the cry of our children and that you would set them free in the name of Jesus it's Jesus in your life we see light I ask this morning as people go to work as they awake that your presence would come they would see you Jesus what you're like in Jesus name Holy Spirit I ask you to pour out the revelation of Jesus in your church that the church would love you the bride would truly love you with all of her heart Abba I pray that you protect women and children today from being caught up in trafficking in Jesus name Lord Jesus I thank you that you don't judge by what you see Lord but in righteousness you execute justice for the poor and the oppressed Lord I ask you in this city that you would release justice God through prophetic singing Lord through intercession God that you would break forth over our city release justice father i lift up the teenagers in the church of kansas city father that you would have mercy father that you would you would touch them with your spirit and they would not be addicted to the pleasures of this world jesus but they would be addicted to your spirit father i ask that your light and your love would go forth in the dark places in kansas city Father, we just come before you this morning. We gather before your throne. 
Father, one voice, we just cry out, send revival to Kansas City. We ask you to send revival to 500 mile radius, Lord. We ask you for a 500 mile radius abortion free zone, God. We ask you for a 500 mile radius, God, that you would bankrupt the human trafficking industry in this region, my God. All the trafficking down the highways, God, that there would be a zone of your presence that would bring an exposing, that would bring a defunding, God, to all forms of forced prostitution, human trafficking, abortion. Father, we ask you that you would send revival to this region. We ask you that you would rend the heavens and that you would come down, that you would make your name known to your adversaries. Father, we ask you for a mighty shaking. We ask you to shake the church in this region, God. We ask you to shake financial powers in this region, my God. We ask you, God, let salvation spring up from the ground. We ask you, God, for ringleaders. We ask you for those in crooked politics and government. We ask you, God, that you would begin to release the fear of the Lord upon this 500 mile radius. We ask you for an invasion of light and truth. We ask you, Father, that you would open the heavens and that you would send revival. I pray, God, that you would begin to raise up intercessors in every denomination, that you would begin to release a mighty cry saying, send justice, God. Send justice, God. Send righteousness, God. Send revival, God. We ask you that you would begin to raise up mouthpieces, that you would begin to raise up, God, abolitionists, that you would begin to raise up preachers and prophets and intercessors. We ask you that you would do it in every sector, in every education, in government, in home. We ask you, God, that you would begin to do it right now, Lord. Just one voice right now. Let's just gather before the throne right now. Simple words. In Daniel 10, the angel says, I've come because of your words. Father, we lift up words filled with faith this morning. Send revival to Kansas City. Send revival to Kansas City. Open the heavens over Kansas City. Rend the heavens over Kansas City, my God. Shake power bases. Release your glory, my God. We ask you, God, make this be the season. Shifting in the atmosphere. Release your angels, God. Begin to release it in the name of Jesus. Sin revival. the wicked of the land 
eliminating all evildoers from the Lord's city. Father, we come before you. We wield the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. We raise the Word of God as a banner. And in the name of Jesus, we just cut off all the works of the enemy in this region, my God. One corporate voice, we wield the sword of the Spirit and we cut off all illegal acts, unjust acts. Father, release glory right now on Highway 70. Glory on the highways, my God. Highway of holiness. Highway of holiness. Highway of holiness. Glory, glory on Highway 70. No unclean thing shall pass. And human trafficking cut off the Together.
70 Light, light And human trafficking Shut down the funding On Highway 70 Light, light And human trafficking With one voice we sing Highway 70 Light, light And human trafficking Shut down the funding On Highway 70 Light, light and human trafficking Shut down the funding On Highway 70 Light, light And human trafficking Shut down the And, and human trafficking Shut down the funding 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 And human trafficking seems all across the nation the Lord is exposing light is coming into the against the abortion industry and the sex trafficking we believe that his judgments are being made known we believe this abortion facility has been exposed on Rose Street in the last week with Phil Klein something is going on a hundred and sixty I believe it was child rape incidences that were covered by Planned Parenthood. God is beginning to expose the dark underbelly of the world of darkness. Judgments come to shake it down. I want to ask God to end Rose Street, Roe v. Wade at Rose Street. Father, we say before you, we cut off the wicked every morning in the name of Jesus. Cut off Rose Street now. Make it a highway of holiness. Cut it off, Lord. It's time. It's time. Lord, we bleed your blood over our sins and the sins of our nation. God, end abortion. Send revival. Break the sex trafficking industry. Break the pornographic industry. Shake the internet. Shake the online wickedness. Come, expose the wicked powers of darkness, God. Break the sex rings. Shatter them now. Your throne is above every throne. Upon this rock, I will build my ecclesia, and the gates of hell will not prevail. Today, we declare the victory of the cross over abortion, over sex trafficking, over wicked, wicked men. In the name of Jesus, we declare things shift today. It's change shift today. Lord, your judgments are in the earth. Let justice roll down like waters, righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Nullify this covenant with death. Nullify Roe v. Wade in Jesus' name. Our prayers are shifting things, moving things. Our prayers are shifting things, moving things. Our prayers are shifting things, moving things. Prayers are shifting things, moving things. Oh, our prayers are shifting things, moving things. Our prayers are shifting things, moving things. We believe our prayers are shifting things, moving things. Our prayers are shifting things, moving for your scepter and signs. God and abortion in this city. God and abortion in this city. God and abortion. Street. In this city, 
prophets now to be raised up God as you bring down the wicked exalt the prophets exalt the prophetic voice God we pray for Phil Klein today Lord you brought him before the thrones and tribunals of men Lord as an attorney general to expose the wickedness we pray that his words could not be contended against Lord let it be like fire let it rip through the news into the conscience of a nation, into the conscience of Kansas City. Lord, we pray, raise up the Hispanic voice, raise up the Hispanic prophets in America to shake abortion. California, a pro-life state. Florida, a pro-life state. Texas, a pro-life state. Raise up the black American voices. Raise up 818, voices of righteousness. The black Nazarites that will challenge the religious status quo with righteousness and justice now. Lord, out of Kansas City, let there come a fire of prophecy, a fire of justice. Do something here that cannot be ignored by the media. Justice rolling down, abortion ending. God, sex trafficking exposed and revival breaking out on all sides in Jesus' name.
chapter 7, verse 3, if I found favor in your sight, O king, if it pleases the king, let my life be given me and my petition and my people and my request. Lord, I ask you for life for the innocent, life for the girls in bondage right now, young men, young women, children, all in bondage, not of their own will. I ask for their lives to be spared today, a breakthrough, an opening up of prison doors, a breakthrough, a breaking off of the chains that bind, the chains that bind today, Lord. A life cry out of the womb, let me live. Can I live? Can I live? Lord, I ask in agreement with Esther's prayer to the king for life, for life for the children, life for the orphans, life for the children in foster care right now, life for those who are in bondage all throughout this city in legal and illegal ways. Lord, we ask you, we petition heaven right now for the request to arise to heaven right now for the saving of souls, for the saving of lives, for the setting free of the captive, for the breaking of the chains, for the freedom for the captives, for those bound up and brokenhearted. God, we say life in the name of Jesus. Life over this region. Life over this people. We make our appeal for the people of this area. And we say life, life. We request life. We request life. We request a culture of life in this region. In Jesus' name.
shift. Pull the way out, get a break in. Our prayers are shifting things, moving things. Our prayers are shifting things, moving things. Oh, on Highway 70, light, light, and human trafficking shut down the funding. On Highway 70, light, light, Police, your and light, human mama. trafficking shut down the funding. On Highway 70. down highway 70 father we ask you for an invasion of your holy presence God that you would drive out the darkness and the spirit of perversion that is pervading this highway Lord we ask you in the name of Jesus that you would tear down every stronghold that exalts itself above the knowledge of God upon this highway Lord we ask you in Jesus name that you would begin to restore the dignity and the sanctity of human life. Lord, we say that no woman and no child should be commercially exploited in the sex industry. And so, Abba, we ask you to arise on behalf of the vulnerable. Arise on behalf of the poor and the oppressed. Oh, Father, we ask you for a shift in the atmosphere for a shift in the heavens over this city, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray that the Highway 70 would be a human trafficking free zone. This trucking highway, God, shut down human trafficking. In the name of Jesus.
Father Lord, an atmosphere of lust and perversion and darkness, we ask you to release the fragrance of Christ in the name of Jesus. Abba, we ask you to quench the perverted desires that are aroused in the hearts of men as they drive up and down this highway. Even today, God, we ask that you would defuse that spirit of lust. Lord, that you would break in and pour out a greater power. Lord, that you would pour out your love into the hearts of men driving up and down this highway. Lord, I ask you to release a vision for love that protects, a love that fights for, a love that nourishes and nurtures. Lord, we ask you in Jesus' name that you would begin to manifest your love in the hearts of men, that you would begin to ignite a purity revolution, a counterculture revolution. Lord, let it begin in this city. Even as men drive up and down this highway, Lord, we ask you, turn their eyes from looking at worthless things. Turn them away, God. Father, we ask you to shut down the desire that fuels this industry. Lord, we ask you to quench that spirit of lust and release the spirit of revival. Father, we ask you for the consuming fire. We pray that you would invade men's minds and hearts with the very fire of your presence, the fire of purity, the fire of love. Even now, Abba, I ask you, release it in the atmosphere. Release it in the hearts and the minds of men in the name of Jesus. Come, God, like a consuming fire in Jesus' name. away the darkness clean hands and a pure heart sanctify and set apart release light to the darkness fill the pure flame Turn away their eyes from looking at worthless things revive them right now release your spirit god Manifest your love, Abba. The fear of the Lord, release the knowledge of God. Let every eye be open. Release the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, release the knowledge of God. Get to change the atmosphere. Give us clean hands. Release a revelation of the fear of the Lord. Release a revelation of your mercy. Fear of the Lord. It's the fear of the Lord. Release the knowledge of God in this city. Oh, give us clean Release hands. Release a revelation of your love and your purity and, and your holiness. Your heart. Oh God. Give us the fear of the Lord. We ask you for the hearts of men. Give we ask us you for the their fear minds. Of the Lord. Fear of the Lord. Give us clean hands. And a pure heart, Jesus. Give us the fear of the Lord. We plead your blood, Jesus. Give us the fear of the Lord. We plead your blood over this generation of Give men. Give us clean hands and a pure heart. We plead your blood, Jesus. Give us the fear of the Lord. We risk you for the washing and the Give cleansing us the fear of, the of Lord. our minds and hearts. Give us clean hands. Give us clean. 
I don't think we realize, I don't realize that tomorrow could be a completely different America if God deals with us according to our sins. Therefore, we as his saints step into that place and we plead a better blood, a blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel, that cries for judgment. We cry for great mercy over our, our, our and in the dream, the most important prayers were those prayers coming out of Kansas City Pleading the better blood. Let's lift our voices. It's just let's sing it. We Before the throne need right your now. Blood over our sins. Mercy. We plead your blood over our sins. Mercy. We plead your blood over our sins.
our sins. Oh, we plead your blood over our sins. Oh, we plead your blood over our sins. And all the blood of Jesus. sing it this morning, oh the blood and oh the blood of Jesus oh the blood of Jesus oh the blood of Jesus it was away my sins and what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood of And what can they? 
Once again I pour out my 